Hi, Carol here, reporting for Small Camera Big Picture. I want to talk today about a little tiny tool that I use with my video files. I record from my GH3 or my GH2 in AVCHD. I do that because it makes such a nice compressed file and yet it has super high quality. That really saves me on the storage requirements on the other end. So that's all great, except that some programs won't take in an AVCHD. And if I use something like Lightroom or iMovie to bring the file in and then export it out, I've created a second generation file and that's not quite as good as the original. Instead, I use something called ClipWrap that just wraps my AVCHD in some code that makes it look like a .mov file and then most of my applications are happy to take in that video and use it. I want to show you how it works because it's so simple and it doesn't degrade the files. So here's ClipWrap and I wanted you to see the little mustache wiggle there. That just always makes me laugh. Um, two things that I need to do. One, I need to tell it where I want to put the files, so it not only copies from the card, but it puts them where I want them. I already made a folder for this file. And then I use the little plus sign over here to say, you know, it wants to know, well, where is the file that you want me to get? I go to my card, I pick private, because that's the package where all the AVCHD movie information is, and say open. There's one movie there, and it's waiting. I'm going to say convert, and it's going to go ahead and convert that little piece of video. Um, convert is the wrong word. It's going to wrap that AVCHD video in a wrapper that makes it look like an MOV file. It's already done, so we can go ahead and close clip wrap. And then when we look in that folder, oops, it popped onto my other monitor. There we go. There is the, move, the movie file, which was an AVCHD file. Happens to be a little movie that I made testing a new camera. Um, and that's all there is to it. This little uh, program, I believe, cost me $39. And in the write-up for this vlog post, I will put the address um, where you can go on the web and look at ClipWrap for yourself. That's all there is to it. Hope you enjoyed that little tip for recording in AVCHD and getting a first generation file into whatever application you want to use to edit it. I'm Carol. Shoot lots, remember the video, and keep dreaming.